this. Now, it's normal to graduate at pendulums. It has nothing to do with your gifts or abilities, mind you. It's just really, it always comes down to what you're comfortable with because it's not, you know, if you're worried about your big swing, your little swing and stuff like that, I mean, that's very big dick, small dick shit, right? That's just your ego. At the end of the day, pendulums are, pendulum use is about facilitating our connection with our guides and that's really important. Sometimes we just want to use pendulum to ensure that we're understanding that we have complete clarity over the information that we're receiving. And for some who don't necessarily see or you know get visions or can sort of foresee things or hear or just know, I think pendulum is just a real wonderful thing, way to kind of have a level of detachment so that way we don't feel like we're pushing so hard to receive information. So I'm, I also have all these other broken pendulums because I am, I try to take care of my pendulums, but they don't always <laughs> cooperate. Here's a clear quartz one. And this is a smoky quartz one that also broke. You can see in the tip that, uh, that was dropped a few too many times. And anytime you have a pendulum, you want to store it ideally because it'll always have, you want to keep it clean. Um, a citrine crystal. So you can see how pretty that one is. It's heart shaped and a citrine cleans itself. So it's great to store any of your pendulum. So I keep this one in pretty much a bowl of citrine, which I love. So when we want to understand, so if you are in a store and you walk in, you want to buy a pendulum or you're at a market or something, and you see these really pretty pendulums, you can certainly just choose one because you think it's nice and pretty. You like the chain, you like the stone, you like the shape. Now, once you might also consider, once you pick it up, to ask it quite simply, are you my pendulum? And it's a very simple thing, it's a yes or no. But if you're not familiar with pendulum, you may not know exactly which way your yes or no swing. So you could just buy a pendulum and just take it home, clear it by keeping it with some citrine for a day, and then you can pick it up and you can say, pendulum, show me yes. Now my yes is my clockwise, right? So it will turn toward my right. And my no is anti-clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on which side of the pond you are on. And it's all quite simple. Those are very the very conventional spins for a pendulum. Now, a pendulum will also swing so many other ways. Sometimes it will go back and forth. And at times, if I get this, it means I need to ask the question another way. And sometimes, now some people might get a side to side swing. And that could just be their yes or no as well. Now, I can also have it, well, it will turn in a flower shape, so it can go in sort of an elliptical manner. Which might be a bit difficult to see from your angle. And it can also just go diagonally and again in a sort of elliptical oval shape. Do not worry, again, if your swing is minuscule, right? it will come with time as you build up your energy.